we care about environment, we care about our planet, we care about future life of our kids in this planet. So we should be using more sustainable materials, green natural materials. So what we've been working on is developing functionalized, low density, uh, high porosity cellulosic fiber materials. And these materials can be used in a wide range of applications. Well, because it's based on cellulose fiber materials, it's 100% uh, renewable, it's recyclable, it's all natural. Um, it's really a low cost material. And uh, because it's low density, low lightweight, it can replace things like polyurethane foams, styrofoams, and fiberglass uh, for those kind of applications. Well, the way we make the material is uh, not entirely novel. It's really based on technology that was developed back in the 70s, which used uh, foam, so bubbles and fibers, to create this very low density material. It was really pioneered by uh, Wiggins Teep in the UK and uh, was brought to us by a gentleman, uh, Malcolm Smith, who was uh, the, the primary researcher for Wiggins Teep. And what we've focused on is really functionalizing that material. The process we use uses a micro bubble foam to position and suspend the fibers into a unique cellular structure. That structure not only has unique properties, but actually can revolutionize the products that use this material. These functionalizations make it useful for a wide range of applications. It can be used for uh, home insulation or packaging insulation. It can be used in home interiors uh, to absorb sound and deflect sound. We can use it for uh, replacing packaging material instead of using styrofoam. We can use it as filtration media. We can use it for uh, soil reclamation. There's a whole bunch of different uh, applications we can aim this material for. These functionalized materials can be used in a range of industrial sectors. This includes construction, packaging, remediation, and biomedical applications. At the Pulp and Paper Center Foam Lab, not only we can produce small size of the foam, we can easily scale it up and produce large size of the foam. For example, as a home insulation material, we can produce the foam that can easily fit between the studs in the wall. This is totally green and solvent-free process where we have full dispersion of the pulp fiber in the water, followed by mechanical mixing, applying the shear forces in the presence of tiny amount of a surfactant. By applying the mechanical mixing, we're basically creating the foam and introducing air bubbles in the suspension. Once the foam is coming up, it pulls up all the pulp fibers. At the end, fiber, pulp fibers are going to be located around the air bubbles, creating the cellular texture of the foam. But at the end, the drying technique is very important, which we have created low cost drying technique to maintain the foam structures. Based on the additives we've been using, uh, they change the physical properties and the chemical properties of the material. So we can make it stronger, we can make it uh, better soundproofing, we can make it uh, heat absorbing, we can make it uh, antifungal, antimicrobial, we can make it fire resistant. And so we've added a whole range of functionalizations that change the physical uh, properties of this lightweight material. We've been uh, focusing on uh, functionalizing this new material using different additives and expanding the property space of this material. What we'd like to do in the future is we'd like to focus uh, on particular product attributes of specific interest to our partners.